Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Now, options are plenty. Well, high marks for that pass. And he read it well defensively. And a tidy challenge. Well, that looked so promising, but a girl kicked the outcome. Andre Ayew. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Eder Militao. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Casemiro and the emphasis is on creativity not too bossy in clearing his lines Andre Ayew and it's with Andre Ayew and he put it in and the keeper did magnificently well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that defending simply isn't good enough they have to react quicker deal with the danger and show more urgency none of which they did and that's the result and brazil get the ball rolling once more how will they react to this setback rafinha can he find the right pass but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending are you Oh, they have it again. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Abdul Rahman Baba. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Showing a real will to win the ball. Kudus. Kudus. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Rafinha. Lucas Pagueta. Vinicius Jr. Casemiro. Thiago Silva is with Vinicius Jr. Moving the ball aggressively here. Richarlison. What a tidy ball. Patient enough. This could level it. And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. Well, let's take another look. And there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Really getting stuck in. And he's won the ball. 20 minutes remaining. Fabinho. He succeeds in clearing it. Fabinho now, not getting anxious when they have the ball, but then the one that goes astray. And they're on the front foot, looking 
for a winner near the end of this game and the advantage accrues to the attacking side and a good tackle and a tidy tackle Rafinha well he keeps going Richarlison well for a change there but well, doesn't have to do it on his own firing it in and there we have it the referee says that will do it for this match it was pretty even and that has been reflected in terms of the scoreline Stuart yeah very difficult to split them over the 90 minutes now their focus will turn to the next fixture it's vital they pick up three points otherwise it can quickly get away from you Hello and welcome to the Alpine Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Alcor. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's Brazil and they take on Serbia. Well Derek, the draw last time out was a decent result but they need to back that up now with a win in front of these fans. If they can, that would be a good start for them. the touchline for a throw in well no stopping it but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Rafinha Neymar Paqueta can he finish this this bit of play just look how he runs with the ball he always looked in control didn't he that's a brilliant goal well, back underway and one nil it is let's see what happens next perfect challenge Dusan Tadic well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Fabinho. Casemiro. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. And a strong tackle. Now getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with some advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what it might be a chance here. And the goal it is, they lead by two now, fully deserved. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Another good tackle. Eden Militao. And in with a real chance. Can they slot it home? Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. 
But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. So making the substitution now. Can he put it in? Oh, so near. Off the post. Well, that's the end of that for now. And he takes it away. Eder Militao. Well, oh, they have the ball once more. And no luck keeping possession. Well, oh, very effective play in possession. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Inside the final 15 minutes. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Dusan Tadic in a tidy tackle. Rafinha. Neymar. Here's Rafinha. He has teammates around him. Might be able to produce from this position. Well, no way through. And the referee blows for full time. Most acceptable for all Brazilian fans. A victory here, Stuart. Well, no, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Alphaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Well, that just has to nullify the opposition. De La Cruz. Luis Suarez. Really good challenge. Suarez. Strongly to win the ball. Eder Militao. Neymar. Neymar's there. Others might join in. The goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. 1 0 then. And a good tackle. Fabinho. Neymar. Rafinha. Neymar. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Well, half 
time coming up shortly and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half time if it stays like this. Not the best clearance. It's got to be! This isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. So, a level contest. 1-1. And taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Luis Suarez. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Underway then in the second half. The two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Another great challenge, free kick here. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Fabinho. Rafinha. Neymar still on level terms moving the ball nicely and it still could be dangerous and you don't want to lose possession there and he prevented it from going over the line Neymar. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And Brazil in a position of menace. Beautiful pass. see he hits this with so much power but just look at the follow-through so athletic that's a dynamic strike well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Fabinho Neymar Richarlison on the cusp of the final whistle and they're making home advantage count but only just Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Teotian de Arascaeta. Ronald Araujo. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. This could square the game. side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserve their victory today. Good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Brazil against Denmark. Yes, cheers Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half time, you just never know. Hopefully, we get a great cut tight and maybe even a massive surprise. Richarlison. Can they forge ahead? Well, I have 
to say this is a really good goal just watch his technique here he just hits through the back of the ball with such power there's no stopping that and time for the change now so the match has restarted 1-0 here and the advantage accrues to the attacking side Daniel Vass Skov Olsen and teammates around him will be a Brazil ball Casemiro Vinicius Junior Thiago Silva Marquinhos Rafinha Fabinho here's Marquinhos Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Fabinho. Well, very close to half time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half time if it stays like this. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta. And he takes it away. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Richarlison. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Challenge halts them in their tracks. Alert defending. Lucas Paqueta. Stopping out the danger. Paqueta. Neymar. And support available. and he has options available takes the shot and a goal a player turn they might be but that's not bothering them one little bit well here's the replay and just look at that power that's almost unstoppable that's a great strike a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Ericsson on the attack in the closing phase this could level it danger averted five minutes to go Time just challenged magnificently. And there's the referee's whistle, and Brazil have 
have made it through to the quarterfinals. Well, Derek, what a good performance this has been. They came in as underdogs, but they fully deserve to be in the next round. They were excellent. Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Brazil versus Mexico. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubting they're the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Andres Guardado. And a timely intervention. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Andres Guardado. And a tidy tackle. The ball back with Brazil here. Vinicius Junior. Jesus. Fabinho. Rafinha. Now options are plenty. Now can they make something happen? Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. A super tackle and they've won possession. Rafinha. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Couldn't hang on to it. then for the respective managers to address the charges it is half time here and as the second half commences both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched and the referee blows for a foul well nothing wrong with the header it was always going that little bit off target Rafinha. Well, that ball looks 
Roma Singh. Fabinho. Again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. One nil then. And we have 30 minutes to go. Really getting stuck in. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And let's give credit to the defending. Rafinha. Gabriel Jesus. Clean 
second tackle. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. Killian Mbappe. Take it away. He won the ball. Neymar. And he's won the ball. That is that for the first half here. And he read it well defensively. Oh, they have it again. Now we're into the final half hour. Bremer. Richarlison. Rafinha. Neymar makes his way forward. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Oh. Neymar. Well, it was a menace. Can he put them in front? And a goal! The opening statement of the semi final. How important can that prove to be? Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Committed challenge. Eder Militao. 15 minutes left for play. Richarlison. Fabinho. Plenty of support here. Time for the change now. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Mateus Cunha. Rafinha. Good looking pass. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Mbappe. There's still time for them to level it, but nothing comes of it. Might it be Mbappe? Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And a substitution in the offing.
Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Martinez. The ball with Martinez. Nicely timed tackle. He continues his run. Or is Charleson? Fabinho. Well, high marks for that pass. Danger averted. But he's certainly not alone. to take on the shots, missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Richarlison. A danger here as he runs at them. Richarlison. Now with Vinicius Junior. Very quick thinking there. Good tackle, take it away. Or is Charleson? Eder Militao. Or is Charleson? Will he find the net? And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Paredes. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A very good tackle. And in with a real chance. Rafinha, Richarlison, here's Rafinha, Neymar, and the pass a good one, patient build up at the moment, Neymar, Neymar, Paredes Martinez Good work from Brazil to win back possession And into the last 20 minutes Neymar Eder Militao Rafinha Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Plenty of support here. That's a go. Didn't quite muster a real threat. Well, that 
That's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw it here. And they will make the change now. Di Maria. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Perfect tackle. Richarlison. Neymar. Oh, nice ball. Given away by Brazil. Showing a real will to win the ball. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy.